This is a summary of Thief of Damascus from 1952, meant to assist those who are visually impaired or don't have time to watch the whole movie. Let's begin. The Thief of Damascus. Paul Herniad plays the General Abu Amder. John Sutton plays Khalid. Helen Gilbert plays the Caliph's daughter, Princess Zafir. Jeff Donnell plays Scheherazade. Lon Chaney Jr. plays Sinbad. Robert Clary plays Aladdin. Elena Verdugo plays the Lady Barbara Nila. The movie opens with scenes of middle-aged soldiers attacking a middle-aged battlements. Then an introduction to Khalid, the Iron Man who is sweeping across the land and conquering all in his path. An argument about the tactics between Khalid and General ensues. It is learned here that Khalid is only interested in destroying the city. Khalid agrees to his general's plan. The attack is put into action. At this time, another Middle Age battle is inserted. The Caliph of Damascus surrenders by sending his daughter to the general's camp with a flag of truce. At this time, we start to see characters from the Arabian Nights Ali Baba, Sinbad, Scheherazade, Aladdin. When the truce is signed by the general and the Caliph's daughter, the general falls in love with the Caliph's daughter. Khalid do not like the idea of Damascus surrendering because he want to destroy the city. He has the general arrested, but the general gets away as Sinbad and Aladdin watch. Khalid sends soldiers after the general. The general having lost his weapon steals one from a sword makes shop. The sword is miraculous, it breaks every other sword. While this is happening Khalid imprisons the caliph and his daughter. The general breaks into the castle and into the caliph's daughter's room. No one can find the general except for Sinbad and Aladdin. The general, Sinbad and Aladdin make instant friends and conspirators they steal horses and leave the city. The daughter of the caliph still believes the general has betrayed her. When Khalid arrives at the harem and informs the caliph's daughter that she is to be Khalid's bride, the general, Sinbad and Aladdin are riding in the desert when they are captured by the less than 40 thieves and are taken to Ali Baba. The general and Ali Baba make plans to arm a force with the miracle blade sword. At Ali Baba's cave, the general runs into an old friend, a female barber. Back in Damascus, the general, now shaven, returns and are immediately assailed by the merchant that they stole the horses they are riding from. They scare him into silence and return the horses, but making plans to re-steal them later. The general goes to the sword maker that make the miracle blade and arranges to have weapons made for the revolt. At the same time, the general learns that the caliph's daughter is to be married to Khalid. He makes plans to steal money from the treasury to pay for the swords. Scheherazade goes to dine with Khalid while the general goes through the kitchen to get to the main palace. This is when the caliph's daughter and the general fall in love. She gives the general her jewels to finance the rebellion and a secret passage out of the castle. The general, Sinbad and Aladdin re-steal the horses and head to Ali Baba's cave. He decides to let the soldiers following him let him know where they are going and about how to open Ali Baba's cave. The guards that were following the general, Sinbad and Aladdin find out the secret to Ali Baba's cave. The female barber then tries to get the general to cross Ali Baba and his men so that she and the general can rule Damascus but the general refuses. Khalid wakes up the next morning with Scheherazade when the guards come in and tell Khalid about the cave. Khalid does not believe the guards but decides to go and find out. This is where the female barber decides to turn traitor since the general rejects her, but is caught by the general and returned to Ali Baba's cave. Khalid and his soldiers arrive at Ali Baba's cave and makes preparation to wipe out the general, Ali Baba, Sinbad, Aladdin, and the less than 40 thieves. They open the cave door and enter the cave, then Ali Baba closes the cave forever. Khalid then sentences the caliph's daughter to death in two days and lays a trap to capture the general, Ali Baba, Sinbad, Aladdin, and the less than 40 thieves. The general decides to use the old wives' tale about hiding in olive oil jars to enter the city. The day of the execution arrives and Khalid has the trap set. The general, Ali Baba, Sinbad, Aladdin, and the less than 40 thieves get the new swords and head to the town square for the execution. The caliph's daughter is brought to the execution platform after several others are beheaded and the general enters the city. She is about to be executed when the people are aroused. Then the general, Sinbad, Ali Baba, Aladdin, and the less than 40 thieves attack. Khalid gets a miracle blade sword and heads into the castle. The female barber has relented and is in the fight but Khalid shoots her with an arrow. The general and Khalid have a sword fight and Khalid is killed. The general gets the daughter and Aladdin finds his lamp and they live happily ever after. This brings us to the end of the story.
If you have any suggestions for future movies, please leave them in the comments. Until next time, have a nice day.